All right, hey there everyone. My name is Dan and today I'm going to be running through a few more Trello tips and tricks. Um, we're going to kick things off with a pretty simple tutorial on how to get going with Butler. If you don't know what that is, it's basically Trello's super simple but effective and powerful automation tool to allow you to remove some of those manual tasks that you're finding yourself doing day in, day out, week on week. Um, these small things, over time, they're going to add up. And if we can automate them, that's best for everyone. So let's get into it. Okay, so to kick things off, first thing you need to know is actually how to get to Butler. A lot of you guys might be using Trello here and there, like just as it is out of the box, and that's absolutely fine. You can get a lot done like that. But if you want to take things to the next level and start saving yourself some time, this is the, the way to do it. So first thing, we're going to navigate up to Butler. It should be enabled on every board that you have. If it's not, there's probably an issue, but you'll be able to find it either in the top menu here under the Butler button, or if we can click on show menu, you'll find the Butler section just here. So if we click here, we can open it up. And once that's loaded, now we're going to see this main menu for Butler. So the first screen you'll see is automation tips. And this is Trello going to be offering you some advice, some ideas for automations you can run. If you have a board that you've been using for a little while, then it's going to give you a few ideas. They'll notice when you've been doing the same actions like every day or repeatedly. And then if there's an automation available to replace that, it should be listed here. So you can just quickly hit go and and you can enable this on your board. However, this is a new board for me, so I don't see anything, but we can easily set some up. So just to give you a quick tour of how Butler is set up and how you can find things and what the options are, to kick things off, we've got rules. So these are basically automations that exist across the whole board. And what it means is Butler will be keeping an eye out for certain triggers, which are actions that you do that can then, um, that if you set up an automation, when Butler sees this trigger action done, it's gonna do something else. So a very simple example would be here, like when a card is added to done, the done list, then mark the due date as complete. Super simple, but is a good one, saves you quite a few clicks over time. Other options, we've got card button. These are nice little buttons that will appear actually on the card itself. I can quickly show you what one of those looks like. So if we open up this card, then these are the buttons along the side. So when you create a new button, it's going to show up here as well. And if you're doing something in this card, all you do is hit the button and then it's going to run an automation for you. Okay, moving on, board buttons. Pretty much the same, but these are buttons that are gonna run across the whole board. So these, you'll find them at the top of your of your board. They look a bit like the power-up buttons, but they're actually um, automations. In some ways, you could think of this as you're creating like a mini power-up for yourself. Pretty cool. Next, we've got calendar ones. So these ones will be triggered based on calendars, so times and dates. Um, for example, every day at 8.45 here, I've got one which We'll move any card that is due on this day to my list called doing today and finally very similar to that actually but another date related one we've got due dates so if you have a due date or like a deadline set up on a on a card then you can set up certain automations to run based off those so a very simple one here is on the day a card is due move the card to the top of the list today pretty similar to the last one i showed you but slightly different okay that is a quick run through, a quick tour of Butler and, and how it works. There's a few other things to note, like you can search for, you can filter slightly um, if you've got a long list of, of automations already set up. For example, I have quite a few here. And also these are actually set up across other boards within my account. So this is nice because it means you can set up an automation and not have to manually recreate it every time you want to put it onto another board you can just open up that board click enable and it will be enabled on this board as well all right so 
Next, I'm just going to show you a very quick, simple way of setting up a pretty basic um, automation so you can get a feel for how it works. The one I'm going to use here is if we have a card with a due date and if we, okay, I'm just going to add a due date here quickly. Okay, so instead of me marking this due date as done and then clicking out and then dragging it into the done column, which, okay, I know that wasn't that hard, but believe me when you have to do this like lots and lots of times every day it adds up so what we want to do is when we do mark that due date as done we can make it automatically move it across into the done column nice so it's out of the way and all organized so i'll just show you how to set that up so let's remove that quickly all right so we'll go over to butler And we're going to hit rules because we want, but let's just keep an eye on our board for whenever we do this. Okay, so now we're in Butler. What we're going to do is we're going to head over to rules. And we're going to create a rule. First thing we need to do here is set the trigger. So this is for Butler to keep an eye out for this particular trigger. So when we do something in Trello, Butler's gonna see it and then it's gonna do something else for us automatically. So in this case, we're gonna set to look out for dates. So we want Butler to see when a due date is marked as complete in a card. And there are a couple of other options here. So you could set this for Instead of it being for everybody, you could just do it for yourself. Let's say you're working with a team member and they don't really like this automation, they want to do the dragging. That's cool. We can just set it for us. And I would just add in my name there for that. However, for this case, I'm just going to leave it as applies for everybody. And now we will add that. So here we can see the trigger and it's described there as well, just to double check. And then we want an action to happen next. So there are lots of options here. You can actually add multiple actions. But in this case, let's just keep it simple. We're going to go for move a card to the top of the list and we want the list to be the done list. And that's it. And then we'll hit this green add button and you get a summary of what you've just built. And that's pretty good. So we're going to hit save. And now once that is done, so we're going to just use these filters here quickly. So we can easily see now that there are our new automation, our new rule has been created. So when a due date is not complete, move it to the top of the list, done. So let's give it a test. All right, so when we go back over to our card and we check off the due date as complete, all being well, it will move it across for us. And there we go. The find target audience, this task has now moved to the top of the done list because I selected complete on the due date. So that's it. That's just a very simple example. There are tons and tons and tons of different combinations and things you can do with Butler, but I just wanted to give you a quick tour of how it works and how easy it is to set things up. So really the limits are up to you and your imagination or your problems that you can think of. Um, but I'm definitely going to be putting out some more advanced tutorials on, on different examples and different things you can do with Butler. If that's of interest to you, if you really want to automate your board so it takes away a lot of the manual effort for yourself, then keep, uh, keep an eye on the channel. Please subscribe, that way you won't miss out on any videos like that and you'll be up, completely up to date. And if you found this video useful, please hit the like button. It will definitely help us a lot and it will um, encourage us to keep putting out videos like this and so we can help you guys out even more. So that's it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.